So it's still the 5th of December 2019 and this is my third upload today. Um, I've mentioned quite important matters that I'm experiencing in my previous two uploads um, today on the 5th of December 2019. Um, the next issue that I want to talk about is basically in relation to recovery. Um, the fellowship is a marvellous um, fellowship for people suffering and um, back in 2006 when I joined the fellowship um, my purpose within the fellowship began um, as a means of helping people in recovery. Um, my purpose as a teacher is and was to help people, young people and old people that I've taught in education. Um, and my purpose in recovery and the fellowship was um, not only just to help myself, but to help others as well. Um, and basically, that is by spreading the message of recovery. Um, in 2006, when I commenced on the journey there of recovery, it wasn't just the fellowship that I did my work with. As I said, I became um, very interested in light working um and angelology so um my light work studies began then as well in 2006 in recovery personal development and angelic studies um today's december 2019 and as i'm here on this date in 2019 however many years later over a decade later, after all the experiences that I've had, um, little did I think that my purpose as a teacher um, and as a mother and as a light worker would be so severely violated. Um, in a way, there's been a progression because the matter of recovery has now progressed to a matter of human rights, um, which is a very serious concern for many people around the world because um, there's always those individuals that have no discrepancy about who or what or how or when um, or why they violate a person. Um, the Declaration of Human Rights is pretty straightforward and very clear to understand. So there shouldn't be any difficulty in people comprehending how to respect um, another person's human rights. As for the purpose of light working and spiritual work and healing and recovery and whatnot, everyone's purpose is unique to each person that is given the gifts or blessings or ability to be able to help others. Um, my purpose as a light worker has been um, interfered with and interrupted by, as I have mentioned, spiritual predators, spiritual vampires that have absolutely disrespected my light body and my physical body. Um, this is the obvious violation of bodily integrity being disrespected um, without authorization without consultation um, so the spiritual violations and the interference of individuals in my purpose as a spiritual light worker and as a member of the fellowship and as a teacher and as a mother have um, been very seriously violated in Tralee County Kerry um, as I've said I know the culprits I know the agenda um, and the damage done is so severe that I'm sitting here um, in a big armchair all day because my body has been absolutely ruined. Um, the damage done isn't just physical. Um, for any individual to violate another person's spirituality, religion or faith, or to try and dominate an individual or any sentient being, um, with their own 
personal religious uh, faith um, is not in accordance with human rights. And in saying that, in trying to suppress an innocent woman um, by confining, undermining, disrespecting, ignoring, isolating, defaming, exploiting, abusing, etc., that I've experienced in a very short space of time, only two years, I've experienced all of this is horrendous. But um, suppression and uh, dominating an individual by sharing false information and basically defaming a person. Like, as I've said already, the comments that have been shared about me, the views, the perspectives, the opinions, the amount of relevance or any um, validity to the assumptions and false claims and defamation about me by those who are the actual culprits of actually violating my bodily integrity um, as a light worker to be violated as I've been violated is uh, pretty horrendous but um, as I've shared the damage done is um, inexcusable for any person to even go into another person's house without even, you know, being invited, but to violate a person's personal dwellings, as mine have also been violated, is not acceptable. And as it applies in the world of religion, faith and spirituality, for those taking liberties and violating a person's faith and religion and spirituality, when it's not harming anyone, when there's claims being made, though, that are very defamatory and dangerous and extremely false, raises a very big spiritual uh, concern in the community. Because um, for what has been happening in 2017 and the liberties that people have been taking with regard to my faith, um, beggars belief um, as I've said there's been creative theft intellectual theft there's been light theft financial theft and this issue has been exploited and for what has been stolen from me there's been other more serious exploitation but for the violation of privacy the violation of my faith the violation of my bodily integrity for any individuals to be responsible for is a big onus on the community and culprits responsible and a huge burden on society when a person's faith can't even be respected. Um, so on the 5th of December, when I'm confronting these human rights violations, um, I wanted to share how important, as a member of the fellowship, and as a light worker, and as a teacher, and as a mother, there have been culprits in the community and elsewhere that have violated um, my right to freedom, right to medicine, medical care, my right to privacy, my right to family, home, career, and my own personal faith and spirituality, that there hasn't been once ever any authorization for anyone to ever violate in this town or county.